Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can upgrade your uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus to Android 10 using a firmware uh, update. So instead of updating it through your normal software update, we're going to use Odin 3 to update the Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus. Now the first thing you want to do is go into settings and make sure you we get the right correct model number for your device. So in settings, go down to about phone and then uh, we go down and find the model number. So this is an SMG965F. So write down the model number or if you can remember it. Also, you can see here the software information um, at the moment, I'm running on Android version 9, so we're going to update it to Android version 10. And then the next thing that we need to do is go to the internet and download the firmware file. So the source that I'm downloading is from uh, Sam Mobile. There's a few different places that you can try to search for. And the one that I go to is Sam Mobile, and I can download the firmware directly from there. So and here you can see you can go to the Sam Mobile website and then you can download um, based on your model number model name and then select your country uh, select the versions and make sure that you check all the information carefully before you proceed so here is the download file for my device so make sure that you download the correct files uh, for your device because there are a few different versions of it uh, download the firmware file download Odin 3 and Odin 3 I have already uh, unzipped into here now you also need to uh, uncompress this uh, zip file so open it up and in there there should be five files you want to select them and then drag it into a different folder so I'm just going to put it in this uh, folder here and it's going to uh, uncompress and place the file in that folder there so this uh, process may take a few minutes okay after we have extracted the files you can go in the folder to confirm the file is there so you've got five files. You can see you've got the AP file, which is the system and recovery. BL, which is the bootloader. CP is the modem or radio. And then you've got the CSC, which is the country, region, and uh, operator. And then you've got the home CSC file. Now these two files here, you can choose one or the other. The CSC file is the one it, uh, that you want to uh, do a clean install. That means all your, if you choose this file here, that means uh, all the data on your device will be erased and you will start fresh again. Choose this file, Home CSC, if you simply just want to uh, update your device and you will want to uh, keep the apps and data on your device, then you would want to choose Home CSC. So be careful with these two options here. So to keep the data, choose Home CSC. To start fresh with a clean install, choose CSC. Okay, now I'm going to go back up. Here and now I'm going to go into the olden tree directory. This is also uh, what I have already uh, extracted. So extract that and place that folder here, and then go in here and we're going to start up olden tree. So start up the app olden tree, then click on OK, and I'm just going to uh, resize this. Okay, now on the phone, I'm going to switch it off. We need to uh, put the phone into a download mode. So let's first uh, switch the phone off and then I'm going to use the power button over here and the volume down key and plus the Bixby key. So we need to use this uh, three keys combinations to boot into download mode. So press all the three buttons at the same time. Power, volume down and Bixby key. So press and hold. Press and hold and shortly you should see it said um, warning and a custom OS can be caused critical problems so when you see this screen here press on the volume up key to continue and now you can see we're in download mode and uh, that's how you can get into download mode next we need to connect the USB cables so use um, the original cables if you can so use the original Samsung cable and we're going to uh, connect that into the phone and then under the end we're going to plug it into the computer so once you plug it into the computer Odin should detect your device and it said added or remove so if it's added it shows and in the ID com it should shows uh, your phone in uh, the blue box right there 
Okay, next what we want to do now is to um, uh, select the files. So if you click on that, you want to select the correct files. So I'm going to change the directory. So I'm going to go into this folder here, Galaxy Upgrade. S9 Plus Android 10 firmware and you want to, to select the right one so this one here say BL then you want to select the BL file and we just wait and then if it's uh, AP you click on that and you want to choose an AP file over here and then the next one is going to be CP now this might take some time so just wait for the file to load so basically what uh, happening right now is Odin trying to load the file into the software. So we just have to uh, wait a little bit because the AP file is a large file, a few gigabytes. Okay, next we're going to choose the CP file. So choose CP file. And then here the last option is uh, CSC file. Now again, remember I told you you can either choose CSC file if you want to start fresh. Uh, if you want to keep the data, choose the home CSC file. So we just wait for it to load up. Okay, so when you have uh, selected all the four files, uh, don't worry about the user button right here. It is not necessary to use this one. And then we want to go to options and double check to make sure auto reboot and F dot reset time is selected. It should be selected by default. Now don't select any other options, so just leave everything by default. And now we are good to go, so once you're ready, click on the start button. And then we just leave as how it is, and then it's now uh, working on it. So you can see there should be a small progress bar at the bottom here, running, so we just wait for it to finish. And up here you also see a progress bar as well. And that is pretty much it at this point. I'm just going to leave the video running so you can see how long it will take to upgrade uh, your software. So you can see this uh, process is quite straightforward, doesn't take a lot of uh, steps. However, the important thing is uh, we need to f do things in the correct uh, sequence. And also you need to make sure that you choose the correct file for your phone model. Uh, choosing the incorrect file could cause uh, issues uh, with the upgrade and uh, it can even uh, break your device. So you have to be, uh, take extra care when selecting the, uh, the firmware file for your phone. So, so it's uh, downloading now. Uh, during this process, you may see your phone restart a couple of times. Also, this lock here, Windows, uh, show you what's going on and what's happening uh, during the upgrade process. And now it said the device is rebooting. So now there's a logo power Android with a green icon at the bottom. And it said here, all threats completed, succeed one, fail zero. And on the phone, it's now doing some work.
So I think at this point the audience is complete. It has uh, downloaded the software onto your phone, and now it's the phone's job to um, uh, installing, set up, and reorganizing uh, the system files on the phone. So still, while the audience software is finished, your phone still need to uh, set up itself. Now, if it stays stuck on Samsung logo like that, just be patient. I think it will take a little bit of time. So I just uh, try to uh, wait for the update. So now I say phone is uh, updating and optimizing app. Now as you can see it's quite a lot of uh, apps in there, 458. So it may take some time. You may want to take this opportunity to go and get yourself a drink, coffee or tea, and wait for the phone to update itself. I've just moved the phone down now to uh, to the table. So now it's updating.
Okay, so now we can uh, have a look. Let's see. So I'm just gonna uh, put in the pin. So there it is. And uh, it appears my phone does not break. So this means uh, the update uh, so far is uh, so good. So I'm still trying to uh, boot up at the moment. There it is. A little bit slow to boot up uh, for the first time after the upgrade. All my apps still there. Everything's still there. I'm going to swipe down and check. Seems to be a bit lagging for some reason. So hopefully uh, this is just uh, because of the initial setup and uh, it's a bit lagging. So there it is. Now I can swipe down, tap on the settings icon. And then tap on about phone and tap on um, software information. And now you can see it's update to Android version 10, one UI 2. So I think a lot of uh, things still going on on the background because my phone seems to be responding slowly. It used to be um, quite a lot faster than this. But now I think maybe after uh, it's doing all the caching of the memory, uh, it will slowly will pick up the speed. So I just noticed that uh, light went, uh, went red there just then. I don't think I've seen it before. So there it is. So syncing. So that's, that's what I mean. It's still doing other things on the background. It's syncing and doing other things. So uh, it's still finishing up. So you can see here, say finishing system update so while we can still use the phone immediately but um, it still performs some minor tasks on the background and that's it uh, i hope you enjoy the android 10 there will be some new features i'm sure that you will like if you spend some time exploring android 10 there's a lot of new uh, things uh, enjoyable things that you can uh, you can do with android 10. so i'm just uh, looking at this uh, good luck um, so you can see here some of the things uh, is installed uh, previously with good luck uh, when we try to upgrade uh, a lot of the things uh, breaks and it doesn't work so now you can see the quick star and task changer is unplugged uh, but that's it that's how you can upgrade your uh, galaxy s9 or the s9 plus to uh, android 10 thank you for watching this video i have uh, intentionally leave it on uh, just so, so you can see how long it takes to upgrade your device. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.